Hello everyone and welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton and welcome to another 24-7 news report. Getting straight into things here, this is from David Ornstein from The Athletic, so this is a very reliable source and hopefully that means good news. Uh, Everton are working on a deal to sign Maxwell Corner, clubs in contact but no agreement yet. Other clubs are interested in the winger, but as things stand, Everton are the most likely destination. Uh, Maxwell Corner, in my opinion, was... Probably Burnley shining light last season. Great signing from them. Uh, nine goals, one assist in only 26 games. And you know his stats are through the roof. You know, 0.44 non-penalty goals per nine. He does put him in the top 10% for wingers in Europe's top five leagues. And he's not 0.29 non-penalty XG. Puts him in the top 25% of all wingers in Europe. I think it'd be a fantastic signing for the club to make. And I believe his release clause is £17.5 million. Pounds. Uh, for, if you look at the money we've spent on other wingers in the past, you know, Alexi Warby's really turned things around. But at the time when we signed Alexi Warby, 30 million, you look at, you know, I can't even think of some of the other. You have players like Sandro that we've signed for, I think, more than that. So, you know, being able to bring someone of Corne's quality in for 17.5 million, I think it'd be a steal, really. I think he offers a lot of whatever and need. And it's that ability to be a goal threat. His creative numbers are. They're, they're really bad, to be honest, but he also did play as a striker for a large majority of the season with when they signed Vegost. And I can imagine the creative roles would be lopped onto Deli Ali and Anthony Gordon anywhere. So I can imagine this will happen. I hope this will happen. Coming from David Ornstein makes it feel a lot more reliable that it will happen. And hopefully that's something Everton can get over the line soon. Uh, uh, Vincent Company also said we probably have to prepare for a period after him about Corne. So it does look like Corne is on the move and hopefully that is to Everton. Another winger from the Ivory Coast that Everton are looking at is Arsenal's Nicolas Pepe. This comes from Ekrem Connor. I can't pronounce that very well, but I do believe this is the same guy that broke the Maxwell Corne stuff. Um, also, 84% of Everton fans said they would take Corne. I don't know if I said that. But on the flip side, 68% of Evertonians said they would not take Nicolas Pepe at the club. He only played around 700 minutes for Arsenal last season, which is minimal. You know, he barely featured. But when he did feature, he looked promising. Uh, 0.38 non penalty XG puts him in the top 10%. Uh, 2.97 shots per game puts him in the top 15%. You know, he all these stats that he's in the top percentage for. But in limited minutes, it also is hard to gather whether that is due to his own ability or because he was playing against lesser opposition, because Arsenal were resting other players. I think with Nicolas Pepe, and my answer, it very much depends on what we are either paying, or if we're getting him on loan and barely having to pay his wages. Like I said, he's on probably on big wages. He came for a huge fee. If we're paying anything more than £20 million, you know, we have to be saying to Arsenal, look, Burnley are willing to sell us Maxwell Corner for 17.5. Why would we pay the same for Pepe? Because Pepe's just... He's a talented player and he's shown, you know, in bursts that he's a really good player and can be a really good winger in this league. But there's not been that consistency and I think Everton need to avoid signings like this because these are the signs that got us in this predicament in the first place. Uh, West Ham looks set to sign Chelsea forward Armando Broja on a season-long loan. West Ham did want to sign him permanently, but Chelsea are reluctant to let him leave on a permanent deal. That comes from the mail. Really disappointing, I think. You know, Armando Broja is going to be a huge player player in the Premier League, a 15 to 20 goal season striker in the future, playing in the Champions League. So I think being able to bring him in would have been nice, but also I don't know what role we would have offered him with Dominic Calvert-Lewin as the main striker. So it is quite a difficult one. West Ham have been looking for a striker for a long time. Broha will get consistent minutes. We'll get to play European football. So I do see... Well, I Will they actually? I don't know. I think West Ham finished sixth. I don't really remember, to be completely honest with you, but I think West Ham are in Europe again next season. Or did they? I don't know. But he's got a lot more prospects of possibly finishing in Europe, if not or with, uh, with West Ham. David Moyes has proven he knows how to get the best out of strikers in the past. I think it's a great move for West Ham, and it is unfortunate that Everton will not be able to get him. Uh, Jared Brownfoot has joined PSV on loan for the season. I think this is... An amazing bit of business, to be completely honest with you, for us, unless there is some sort of buyout clause. Uh, I think he's a fantastic player. I think, or he's going to be a fantastic player. I think the move over to Holland, where it's less physical and he will get a chance to improve on his technical game, is also going to be a huge plus for us. Uh, let's just hope he doesn't play like the best centre back in the, the air of his ear, and then we have loads of clubs trying to buy him because I do think Jared Brownfoot will be a Titan in defence for 
any team when he reaches potential, and hopefully that is for Everton. Uh, Frank Lampard still wants to sign Conor Gallagher, but he's aware that Chelsea are unlikely to sell, so a loan deal is more likely. That comes from Jacques Talbot. Uh, yeah, I still think a loan for Conor Gallagher would be fantastic business from us. Uh, I think it has to happen, personally. I think we spoke about this so many times now. I've spoken about it plenty. Other people on the channel have spoken about it plenty. I just think Conor Gallagher is someone that can really revitalise Everton's midfield, can give us that energy, that drive, that creative ability that we need. And yeah, hopefully that's something we can get done uh, over this summer, even just on a loan, maybe with an option to buy, hopefully, but a loan will still be perfect for us. Uh, Abdullah Decoria has spoke about his contract situation at the club. He has said, I spoke to the club, they know my position, I want to stay here for much longer. With one year left, you know what is going on, but at the moment, everything is a bit calm. Uh, let's see before the end of the transfer window how it can change. Maybe the club have time to reflect on me and see what and see how they want to plan with me in the future. Um, I think we should extend Decore. I think he's a good player. I think he's best. He's a fantastic player. He's got the engine to run for 120 minutes quite easily. He's a strong tackler. He's got the technical ability there. Last season was a bit of a downwards for him, but, you know, it happens. I think everyone had a downward season besides a few players last season. So handling it all on Decore is a bit, you know, it's a bit iffy in my opinion. But, yeah, I think it'd be a great move to extend him as long as the wage is that massive. And yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't extend Decore. And finally, uh, Everton are interested in Nice defender Jean-Claude Todivo. This summer, Manchester United, Sevilla and Newcastle are also interested. That comes from Var Martin, a French newspaper. And to be honest with you, this would be amazing if we could get it over the line. Uh, if I can give him a comparison, I'd be to Arsenal's William Saliba, but not as high of a standard when it comes to progressing the ball. I think this is going to be one that if we do sign him, it is because Frank wants to sign that progressive centre-back that can pass the ball out from the back and can play that style that Frank wants to play, that style that he played at Chelsea, that progressive, high-tempo style. But I don't think we'll be able to get it over the line with the other clubs interested who can all offer more money than us. I don't see why a player of Tadebo's qualities would consider a move to Everton, to be completely honest with you. I think it'd be a bit of a step backwards from him, even from Nice, who... I'm believe are still completing in the Champions League or the Europa League next season so I don't see it happening but it would be amazing if we could get it and it would completely revitalise our defence with him and Tarkovsky would give us probably a top 10 centre-back partnership possibly even higher in the league in my opinion much better from what we've had in previous seasons so we'll have to see where things go with that but that is all the news for today if you did like this video please make sure to like and subscribe uh, follow the Toffee Blues on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at Callum Branham Free, and stay tuned for more news videos and more content up on the channel. And we I will see you all next time.